Hi, my name's James Smith and today I'm going to be reviewing the Vivo Barefoot Primus Lite. Now it's been a while since I've reviewed a barefoot shoe, so I was really looking forward to seeing how we got on, especially compared to the Vivo Barefoot Stealth 2, which was a fantastic shoe to test, and the Zero Shoes Prio. Okay, so what the Primus Light gives you is a barefoot shoe. It's very lightweight, it's very, very flexible, it only weighs 268 grams with the removable insole in and even less at 253 with it out, which obviously is fantastic. It's zero drop from heel to toe, three millimeters of rubber between you and the ground, but unfortunately quite hard rubber and I will get onto that in a bit more detail in a second. You've got a fantastic lightweight, very breathable, airy upper, which is probably only bested by the Stealth 2 from Vivo Barefoot, and that's due to the technology that went into that shoe. With this one here, so you've got this tongue, very thin tongue, which unfortunately is probably a bit too thin, especially with these type of laces, because if you tighten them up a bit too much, then they, they can pinch, and that's quite uncomfortable on runs. You've got some nice little touches here with these overlays, which, I find as a sort of really quite little elegant touches. There's three of them. There's one on the heel, one on this thick pad on the toe there, and obviously on the on the outer side there, which I've already shown you. This sort of multi-layer synthetic mesh is brilliant. Doesn't let anything in. It lets everything out. It's very very breathable. Uh, my feet haven't once got too hot in these shoes, which is great. Uh, this toe here is a little bit shallow for my liking and unfortunately because of the uh, the sort of overlays here it's, it does squish my big toe a little bit. It's not been an issue in terms of comfort with that. Uh, most people will probably be fine. I do have quite big big toes uh, but some people if you've got girt feet might be a little bit uncomfortable in these shoes. Uh, in terms of style, I'm not keen, and the white certainly isn't my colour. Maybe in a different colour, it might have been a bit nicer, uh, but for, for me, it's it's a no. And then moving on to the sole, you've got your classic Vivo Barefoot honeycomb style sole. Nice little Vivo Barefoot logos on it. I think there's another one. Whoop. Where are we? Here. Uh, which... I've always enjoyed with Vivo Barefoot. I love the little touches that they put in. I really love the grip that their sole gives. But for some reason on this shoe versus the Stealth 2, the sole felt quite hard and I wasn't getting the ground perception that I was used to on the Stealth 2s. I used to wear those shoes all the time and I don't know whether or not it's because after wearing them for so long, the rubber just softened up. But I don't remember at the start it being quite as hard so I don't know whether they've used a different rubber compound on these but I certainly didn't enjoy running in them at all really. For walking I thought these were great but for running in I really did not get on with them and I would not advise to use these as running shoe. Personally I think that they're not a running shoe from Viva Bear but I think they've probably made more of a sort of casual shoe with these. I'm perfectly honest, uh, as lightweight and breathable as they are, they're just not anything like the Stealth 2 in terms of a running shoe. Now overall, obviously apart from my issues with the tongue and the laces and the looks and the sole, it sounds like there's a lot that I don't like about it, but honestly, this shoe is really good. The upper is amazing. And if the sole and the tongue and the lace design match the Stealth 2s, it would be fantastic. Anyways, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.